Good evening, everybody. Everyone, good evening. Uh, welcome to TAA traditional Thanksgiving party. Now, actually, I want to invite the TAA president, Dr. Paul She, to give us the welcome remark. Our honor speaker, Ms. Adil. Our honor guest, friends and fellow Taiwanese American. On behalf of the Taiwanese Association of America, Great Washington Chapter, I welcome you to this TAA GWC annual Thanksgiving banquet. The banquet has been a long tradition of our community for more than 30 years. Its chief purpose is to express our most sincere thanks to our American friend. Many have an important law in the past. It has been relations between the United States and the Taiwan. Over the past 60 years, Taiwan has gone through a remarkable transition from Jiang Kai Shek, father and son of democracy, to Li and Hui and the Chen Sui Bin administration democracy. Today, Taiwan is home to a remarkable free society with vibrant media, freedom of speech, and respect for human rights. This impressive achievement are the result of the effort of many courageous Taiwanese freedom fighters, human rights activists, and many American and international friends and supporters. To them, we are forever grateful. Unfortunately, the current Taiwan government under Ma ying leadership has mistakenly deprioritized and curtailed human rights in deal with the Taiwanese people at home. It also has downplayed human rights issue in pursuit of economic interests with the Chinese government in Beijing. The irony is that at the time when the Ma administration is warming up to the communists in China, China is ever increasing the number of missiles targeting Taiwan. Despite Ma overtures, China continued to squeeze Taiwan out of its international political and diplomatic space. Many fear that Taiwan sovereignty is gradually lost under the Ma leadership. We need your continued support of Taiwan democratic political development. Despite China's considerable economic progress in recent years, in human, its human rights abuse continue. To be sure, China's economic gain has benefit and protect its privileged class, but its record of the democratic development, freedom of speech, human rights protection are dismal. Worse is that China is using economic gains to modernize and expand its military force, which threatens its Asian neighbors and challenge the region peace and stability. Tonight, as we celebrate Taiwan's part on democracy and human rights progress, and giving thanks to our friends and supporters, we are reminded of the China lack of human rights protection. We especially take note of this year's Nobel Prize Peace Prize winner, Liu Xiaohu, who is still in prison. Another Nobel Peace Prize winner, His Holiness, the Dalai Lama, was not allowed to return his homeland. 
No, it's our keynote speaker tonight, Ms. Rebeer Cadell, who is activist, leader, and a champion for the human rights of the Uyghur people. My dear friend, it's our honor and privilege to have Ms. Cadell to be our keynote speaker tonight. Later, she will share with us her own struggle and the struggle of the Uyghur people under the brutal Chinese operation. And the Dr. Gary Van Der Wee will introduce her. I also want to welcome and thank our many guests tonight for their friendship and support. I also want to thank our board member and staff for their hard work and the many hours of planning to make sure tonight's event and dinner is a success. Later, but not this, I want to welcome and thank you all for coming tonight. Without your participation there, will not be a successful dinner as it is tonight. Thank you very much, and please enjoy the dinner. Thank you. Um, before we enjoy our dinner, um, I would like to ask uh, Pastor Hong from Wheaton Church to come up and say grace. We have this uh, Thanksgiving banquet. It's a uh, part of our tradition. You know, so uh, uh, to say grace also is another tradition. And so I would like to invite uh, all of us that we uh, uh, close our eyes and we say grace. Merciful Lord, we want to express our gratitude and thanksgiving for this year through your love and blessings, through the support and help from our friends and colleagues, through the criticisms and even opposition from others. Your blessings are full of our works, our goals, and also our families. We thank you that in this big family, though we are different, we are still able to work together, enjoy life together, and pursue our common goals together. During this Thanksgiving season, we ask our Heavenly God to continuously bless us for the rest of this year. We also pray that next year and the year after, all the years following, that people around us may receive peace within and among them through our humble sharing. We pray through our commitment and perseverance that people may be inspired with courage and hope. We also pray through our mutual respect that there is no more violence deprivation or oppression toward each other. We treasure this opportunity to sit with our friends and family to enjoy the delicious food. Please continue to bless us, bless our people in Taiwan, bless the people in East Turkestan, and bless all the people you created. That we may live with dignity peace, love, and without fear. We pray in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. 